winding down, which means kids are about to need something to do during those summer months. Our pal Jesse has some fun things for them to get involved in, but first introduce us to your friends. Okay, well, given the fact that summer we want to talk about turtles and tortoises, so one of my favorite tortoises we work with is the desert tortoise. You kind of find it more southwestern United States, okay. and in some areas like Utah, it's actually endangered, but one of the cool things about tortoises, and it's like a very basic thing, but a lot of people don't understand you know, the shell, it works, its function is for protection. protection right. A lot of people actually don't realize that turtles can feel and tortoises can feel through their oh, shell. Oh, really? Yeah, because on the inside, this is a replica of a common snapping turtle, like yeah. you would see in Thompson Park or Mady Park. You see where their bones attach. That would be its backbone, oh, and this wow. would be its ribs. So a lot of people like to give them a good knock no. when they see one. Don't knock on it. Um, they can actually sense that. And that's one of the coolest things about them is that's why they can pull into their shell, but they can't actually detach so and crawl out. So if something was to touch their shell, they'll know to yeah, go ahead and Yeah, they can well, definitely sense, sense through there. Absolutely. And also their mouths are adapted, adapted to eat cacti, so cactus. He can actually chow down on cactus without being um, affected by the thorns. So he gets all his water theoretically he could if it was in a drought. From all the cactus he That's eats. really cool. Yeah. What a cool friend. Why are they endangered in Utah but so not here? What happens is they're desert, so as we're expanding in Utah, they're uh -huh. running out less desert. Oh. Um, they actually um, cause the desert to expand by spreading plants and stuff yeah. like that. But also, the main thing is they're not good on roads. So they get hit on a lot of yeah. roads, impact collections. They start off small and they and get they pretty get big. But unfortunately, ATVs and cars tend to take these guys out at a very high rate. That's so, so sad. Some places they are endangered, unfortunately. Okay, well, that, that is, cool, that's terrible. All right, well, very good. So, um, <laughs> Leave you on a low note there. Yeah, no, let's talk about summer camps. How about All right. that? We'll bring it so back up. So summer camp is starting. Um, if you want to enroll, we have eight camps coming up. Uh, we encourage you to check our website or give me a call. I'll be happy to talk to you about the camps. We have a variety of themes for each child who may like them from Sue, uh, Sue CSI kind of investigation, Sue Tube, Animal Grossology, love that one. Of course. Uh, vet camp and Sue Keeper in training. Each one is kind of a different interactive camp. Uh, it's 150 a week per kid. We do before and after care. So if you want to uh, give your kids to us around 8 that morning. And keep, so we'll it's keep all day? Mm -hmm. We will keep it for you all day if you want. We'll keep them entertained. So, uh, Very yeah. good. But they also learn a lot. I they think this do. is a good way for they them do. to get engaged. We do a lot of early. experiments. We work with the animals. You yeah. know, we have Salcata tortoises that are like 100 pounds. Yeah. They actually get to get in there and work with them. Cool. So from experiments to crafts, um, even to just working with animals, there's a lot for them to do. I love that. Jess, thanks for coming by. Yes. Thanks for teaching thanks us for about the desert tortoise. We love that. Stick around, everybody. We're going to head into the kitchen with Chef Rocky. Usually he's here.